Hi, thanks for watching Peter's Food Adventures. And today I'm gonna to be making beer battered fish. Now on the back of my crazy successful recipe for tartar sauce, uh, it's been number one on Pinterest for quite some time, which is just crazy. I'm sharing with you my crispy beer batter recipe. Now I've got some fresh cod today that we went and got from the fishmonger. I think you might've seen how we get fresh fish in Australia in my caviar video. Uh, anyway, we're gonna do a beer batter crispy fish and one of the things I wanted to share with you guys is my Japanese tempura fryer. Now I love this for a few reasons. It's got a temperature thermometer gauge, a little built in there. You really wanna make sure you get the temperature right. Too low and it's soggy, uh, too high and it burns. So this temperature really helps regulate. It's got a lid that you can close, it limits some of the splashing. And probably my favorite part is the grill here. So when you take the fried fish out, you put it on the grill and all the excess oil comes back into the pot and it's also a better method than putting it on paper towels, which kind of promotes sogginess. Now let's get started, I'll show you some of my tips. Okay, so I've got, this is 750 grams of fresh cod. Now you could use other fish if you like, like whiting or pollock. Uh, 750 grams is about one and a half pounds. So you just want to make sure everything is evenly cut in size. That way it cooks uniform. To make the batter, this is one cup of flour. And I'm just gonna put in a pinch of salt. Uh, I'm gonna say about half a teaspoon of salt. I've got corn flour or corn starch, and we're using half a cup. I think this is the secret to make it really nice and crispy. Okay, so all we need now is to add a beer. Now this is about 355 mils of beer. That's one and a half cups or 12 ounces. This is a pale ale. Uh, alternatively, you could do like a wheat beer that's alcohol free. And if you don't like the taste of beer, you could just do one and a half cups of soda water or mineral water. Uh, the thing is they all have to be very, very cold. So just mix it in out of the fridge at the very last minute. And really we're just pouring it all in. Now you don't want to over mix, but you want to make sure there will be lumps in it and that's okay. But that's basically your batter ready to go. All right, so now I've got about four cups of oil in there. You just want a regular vegetable oil. And we're just gonna heat up the oil to about 180 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. We're talking about 350 degrees. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the first bit of cod in here, dunk it around, gonna let it drip. See, it's not very thick and that's, it's gonna puff up anyway, so you don't want it too thick. And we're gonna do that with the second piece quickly as well. Now remember to maintain the heat. Okay, so now that's been about just over three minutes. It's got a nice golden brown color, and I'd say they're good to go. Now just put them up on the grill. They can take anywhere from three to five minutes, depending on how thick and big the slices are. I'm gonna just put this on a cooling rack. Use for baking. That's better than paper towel. Now the final batch, I'm actually gonna do the double fry method. So this is gonna cook until it's just lightly golden, less golden than that, for about two and a half minutes. I'm gonna remove it, let it cool for a few minutes, and then we're gonna finish it with an extra minute in the hot oil, but cranked up to 200. So maximum heat for one minute. I'll show you how we do that. Hey Siri, set timer for two minutes. You don't want it too light. That's the color that we're gonna be using. It's not as golden, and now we're gonna let it cool for a few minutes. All right, so we've heated it up to 200. Now we're gonna pop that back in. Okay, so that was the extra minute. Oh, look how nice and golden that is. And that'll make sure it's nice and extra crispy. Okay, so you're gonna have quite a bit of batter left over. The thing is, if it's too light on the batter, or if there's not enough, it's really hard to coat it. So you're probably gonna have leftovers, but I always like getting creative. So I'm gonna actually throw in some uh, prawns or some shrimp uh, and just quickly fry some of those with the leftover batter and uh, some mushrooms. These are really big, so I'm gonna cut them in half. Um, you know, waste not, want not, uh, use what you can and get creative. Here's the rest of the prawns and the shrimp. I'm gonna quickly just throw them in. Now these are absolutely delicious with my creamy sweet Thai chili sauce. 
to dip them in. And the exact same with the mushrooms. All right, so you can see and you can hear how crispy these are. Absolutely amazing. You're gonna love this recipe, I promise, with some extra tips of how you can use the batter. Hit like, subscribe to my channel. Like always, the recipe is out on the website and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.